Welcome back. In this video lecture, let's dive into concepts of logical file names and logical file paths in SAP IPAP interfaces and explore some scenarios where they are used. A logical file name is a platform independent identifier for a file. It allows you to reference a file in your IPAP program without worrying about the underlying operating system or file system specifics. A logical file path is a platform independent path that specifies the directory or folder where the physical file is located. Now let's see what are the advantages of using logical file names and paths. Using logical file names and paths, you can write ABAP programs that work seamlessly across different operating systems without modifying the file paths. You can abstract the actual physical location of files, making your program more secure. You can easily change the physical location of file without affecting the app program. A transaction code used for creation of logical file name and logical file path is file. Let's consider a business scenario. Because of security reasons, business do not want end users to know physical file path location. And in future, if there is a requirement to change physical file path location, they should be able to do it without affecting the ABAP program. Plus, they want to use same logical file name for both application server file path and presentation server file path. To achieve this requirement, we will do some configurations using transaction code file. First, we will create logical file path. Then, we will link it to physical file paths on application server and presentation server. Then, we will create logical file name and assign logical file path to it. Here, we will modify two existing ABAP programs to use logical file name instead of physical file path. We will use function module file gate name to derive physical file path location from logical file name. To create logical file names and logical file path, here in ACP ABAP system, you need to use T code file. Here, first let's create logical file path. Let us give it name as the file path. Here, you need to provide description for logical file path. Okay, let's save it. Now, select this logical file path and let's assign physical file path to this logical file path. For that, let's Create an entry here. Here, we need to provide syntax group and physical file path. Let's understand what is syntax group. In SAP ABAP, a syntax group is used to define platform specific syntax for file paths. This is crucial because different operating systems have different conventions for file path. By using syntax group, you can ensure that your logical file path are correctly interpreted on various platforms. For example, presentation server and application server can differ in operating systems. Then how we can choose a correct syntax group for our requirement? As per our requirement, we need to use same logical file name for different physical path. One is on application server, one is on presentation server. Now let's find operating system for application server and operating system for presentation server. And based on the operating system, we can decide what syntax group to use. To find application server operating system, 
you simply have to go menu system then select option status here you will find the operating system on application server in our case it's a linux to find operating system of presentation server you need to call get platform method of class gui frontend services it will return a number here i have provided a logic based on the number return you can determine the operating system since our number is 14 the operating system is wn32 if you go to database table op system here you will find relation between operating system and syntax group so based on the entries in this database table you can figure out what is the syntax group against your operating system for presentation server we needs to select windows nt and for application server we needs to select unix as a syntax group so now let's first link application server file path for that let's select syntax group as unix and provide here physical file path on application server then here you need to use placeholder for file name do a fun here you will find different placeholders right so for file name we have a placeholder file name so i'll be using it here okay now let's save it now let's create one more entry here you need to select syntax group for presentation server file then here you have to provide presentation server physical file path let's say i want to save my file here and this will be my file path then again here you need to provide placeholder for file name so this is how we have linked our logical file path to two different physical file path one is on application server and one is on presentation server now in the next step we have to link this logical file path to logical file name here let's provide logical file name as z file name description then here you need to write a physical file name i want to give file name as file demo and then i want here system date and system time to get auto populated for that again we have some placeholders we can use that then you need to provide file extension okay so i am using here .csv file then here you needs to provide logical file path that we have created ab printm will auto populate values in this placeholders and based on that the file name will change 
So with this activity, we completed creation of logical file path, linking it with two different physical file path, then creation of logical file name, and we have linked logical file path to logical file name. Now here, to save your time, I have already written a ABAP program, which is a modified version of our already discussed program to write a file on presentation server. Let's see what changes we have done. So here, we'll do the side-by-side -side comparison between two codes. In new code, we are passing logical file name instead of passing physical file name and physical file path. Then here, we are giving call to this function module file get name that will help us to get physical file path based on the logical file name. So as you can see here, we are passing logical file name and we are marking this parameter x use presentation server. This will help us to get file path on presentation server. We need to pass value to this parameter because our logical file name is linked to one logical file path. But that logical file path is linked to two different physical file paths. So out of these two, which physical file path we want to use. To specify that, we need to pass value to this parameter, this presentation server. Okay, so as a result, you will get a physical file path on presentation server here. So if you compare with the old program, with this logic, we get physical file path, and then here we concatenate physical file path with the physical file name to get the full file path. But in new program, we are just giving call to this function module to get required physical full file path based on logical name, logical file name. And that's it. We have not done any further changes in this program. Now let's execute this report and see the result. Let's set a breakpoint here and execute. Let's provide logical file name here. So input to this function module is logical file name and in return we get physical file path with physical file name and you can see here system has populated values in placeholder date and time okay so now let's do f8 now here you can see our file is generated Okay. Similarly, we have written a ABAP program for application server file path. So here again same instead of getting physical file name and file path we are taking input as logical file name then based on this logical file name we are deriving physical file path 
Since in this case, we want to get physical file path on application server, we are not using parameter use presentation server. Okay, so that's the only change we have done. Now let's execute this program. Here again, you need to pass logical file name. Okay, before that, let's set a breakpoint. Here, let's pass logical file name. Now, in this case, you will get application server file path. Then we got file name with runtime value populated against placeholder date and line. Now let's do a fit. Let's go to AL11. And here you can see our file is generated. Now with these two examples that we discussed, I hope you understood how we can create logical file name and logical file path and how to use them in SAP ABAP reports. Thank you for watching this video lecture. Have a nice day ahead.